In this video, I'm going to show you a two-play little mini scheme out of the Trips tight end that is going to beat every coverage in the game and actually kind of take us back in time a little bit in Madden to a day where it was a little bit simpler, to be honest, and um, offense was honestly just simple. And I think you're going to find in this video that you're going to see that this is a route combination that is really simple and at the same time it's very effective. Now, I want to preface this by saying that this kind of concept was really taken out of the game or at least a lot of people stopped using this whenever zone drops became a popular way to shut down deep crossers and deep corner routes now uh, before we go too much further in this video i do want to let you know that if you want to learn more about my trips tied in you can get my patreon membership by becoming a member today you get access to everything the entire trips tied in ebook in addition to that you'll get access to all of my madden 22 offensive and defensive guides I've been in trip side in for most of the year and I have to say that I just keep finding a love for this formation and I also keep finding that this formation is one of the only formations left in the game that actually still has a lot of the old school concepts that were really effective. Now when I said that zone drops basically stopped uh, us from using certain routes or at least uh, having to scheme a little bit more or set those routes up. I wanted to talk about a specific route today out of Trips Tied In that I think that everybody is sleeping on, actually two of them. And the beauty of this play or this two play combo is that again, they look identical to one another in terms of a setup and they actually go in two different directions. And they're all max protect, they can be ran as max protect plays. Um, so you'll be able to pick up any blitz or anything that your opponent's going to do. Now on defense, what I'm gonna do here is just set my zone drops because we're gonna basically be able to turn the predominant way that most people like to match chip side in off with motion and so i just wanted to go over this defense here standard zone drops is what you're going to have to deal with now the two plays we're going to use are x spot and pa post and we're going to talk today about how to throw post routes against literally every coverage in the game and how to master post routes to the point that you can literally um you can you can literally just run posts and really give your opponent fits okay so first play is pa shot posts and the way that i like to run pa shot posts i'm going to give you a max protect way and then i'm going to give you kind of a general way that i like to run it so the first way is the most simple way it's the max protect version literally we're just going to motion scotty miller to the left really important that we motion to the left the reason why is because he's going to stop just outside the numbers and then we're going to hitch our slot receiver godwin and basically what's going to happen is this is streak's going to clear out all the zones and once this guy kind of crosses the middle of the field we're going to throw an aggressive catch inside pass lead click on and make an aggressive catch and as you can see it's going to be able to beat the cover four now another popular defense or i'm sorry the cover three now another popular defense that people like to do is some type of cover three cloud like this right here what i'm about to show you and we're going to show you that literally you can throw this post route against every cover in the game as long as you understand how to throw it and so you'll see here again cover three he's going to pass that third pass lead inside click on and you see how you get these really good aggressive catch animations you want to aggressive catch this that is one of the most important pieces um, that i can share with you about this about this play now the next concept is cover four how do you throw this against cover four cover four is actually really good this year in terms of how it defends a lot of skinny post routes and just underneath post routes what you're going to notice with this one though is once he crosses that inside safety you're going to throw it down and inside pass lead again cut it off as you can see and also maybe something that you're noticing within this concept is that there's absolutely no way that any zone drops are really going to matter so it doesn't matter if i have 30 yard clouds it doesn't matter if i'm playing you know cover two cover three it really doesn't again here this is a cover two show and what you'll see with this cover two show once again you'll see this deep half get pulled vertically you're just going to throw it once he cuts inside right about there pass lane inside cut it off and as you can see we're able to beat the cover two so we're able to beat cover two cover three cover four now you might be saying well cody man coverage is becoming very popular in this game how how is this going to fare against man to man i will say that man to man honestly probably covers this the best but there are some things that we can do with this uh, first and foremost if we know if they're consistently running man i would run the next setup that i'm going to give you out of this play but what you'll see is this s post when it is isolated a lot of times it actually gets a lot better separation than you think and again you can aggressive catch that consistently okay so it can still beat man to man 
And then the real cool part about this is basically what we've done is we've said, you have to go user that route. You have to go user that route. And so now what's gonna happen is your opponent is going to start usering the deep post. Well, um, and, and then what you're gonna see is it's gonna leave this hitch and we can play make of this hitch right or left up if we want to so you see here right here okay where's the where's the space playmaker to the right he comes across we check it down and as you can see that's an easy 10 to 15 yards every single time and that's one of my favorite plays for mabel coverage now i'm going to show you another way um or a, a alternate setup for this now this one is a little bit more against a little bit more effective against man to man and it takes advantage of the fact that we know in this year's game that play action block play action blocking is very very effective for picking up pressure so this one right here is a little bit more like I said of a man-to-man -man setup really simply only thing we're gonna do different is we're going to run a slant and post combo with our number two receiver or I'm sorry our, our um, inside slot there Godwin and our tight end apprentice if you have don't have tight end apprentice put him on a smart routed in and you'll see both of these routes will be really effective for beating man to man and you can kind of aggressive catch them in between the zones another thing that's really slept on a lot of people don't understand this but one of the things that's really interesting is a lot of people right now are running cover one or cover zero they're not really running cover cover two man under so what you can do is you can actually motion this guy if you wanted to motion him all the way to the right on a fade and you'll see right here that if he gets a decent release a lot of times he can actually get over the top of the coverage if they're going to run a shaded underneath type of defense so as you can see we're able to beat man in some some different directions um, and then the last thing that i want to show you as far as it pertains to beating man this has been a concept we've been using all year to beat man but it's just a simple uh, tight end post and you'll see right here once he cuts the inside you're just going to cut it off and as you can see you're able to beat man that way so this is another way that you can run the play if you wanted to run five out just put the running back on a, an out route uh, and it'll still work really well now the next piece of the puzzle is how do we make this play look essentially identical to our other favorite concept in the game and that is x spot so the way we're going to make this look identical is we're going to still motion triangle to the left and now notice that evans is on this kind of unique little hitch route you don't have to okay you don't have to leave him on that route but i like to and then we're going to streak chris godwin so you see this is what it's going to look like another way we could run this um that i like to run it is you could hitch godwin and fade mike evans but what you'll see here is you see how mike evans is your kind of playmaker underneath and then you see how this post can get over the top of a 30 yard cloud that was a double mabel cover three and as you can see i'm still able um very easily to be able to beat this so again let me show you one more time the cover three side of things we're just going to audible to x spot and what i like to do with this play is wheel the running back um and then street chris godwin and then leave mike evans on his route and what you're going to see here is this post once he kind of crosses the face of the safety there's this little pocket that you can fit it in in between the third and the outside zone now uh, i did want to talk for just a second about cover four i think that cover four does a decent job at defending this second setup i'm going to give you an alternate version of this that can help you against cover four uh, what i like about this is this is basically the inverse instead of blocking the running back we're blocking the tight end instead of streaking the or instead of hitching circle we're streaking him instead of square being on a deep route he's on an underneath route so you kind of see like the inverse um, and why i like this play because it looks so similar against cover four you can still kind of pass lead it over the top it's going to look kind of like that cover two mabel or cover three mabel as you can see and then let me go over so you see there there's cover two there's cover three there's cover four all of them are able to be beat this is going to be cover two real quick and then we'll go over man to man uh real quick and then i'll give you one alternate setup if you want to use it so again here real simple and then if it's cover two same kind of thing you see he splits the safeties you can cut that off very easily and you see how good of a route that is now um and then lastly is uh we, of course i've gone over this a little bit against man to man but as far as beating man to man your running back route is actually really good against man to man this year you're just gonna low ball it and then that that and your post are your two primary reads against man so you'll see right here running back no post wait for him to get a little bit more space 
but as you can see that post is still money against man to man just like the z spot or the s post is from pa shot wheel now one of the other things that i wanted to break down real quickly here and i'm going to go to go back to that cover three uh style of defense cover three mabel let's say that they start to say you know what i'm going to use her i'm going to have to use her uh scotty miller i'm not going to be able to just let him run free i'm going to go user him okay that's fine what this does for your uh offense now is now you're going to be turning your direction to your playmaker hitch which is in this case mike evans now notice he's not anywhere near as good that's why i like to either drag him or in route him and then another thing that you can do, and I want to show how to throw this um, specifically against cover four, is you can still hitch Chris Godwin. So the way that you would do that is you would fade Mike Evans. This is going to give you a nice read over the top if they're in shaded underneath man. It's one of the best fades in the game. You're going to then hitch Godwin, and then you're going to wheel Bernard. So you see this is how the play looks. Now against cover four drop, all you need to know is you're going to throw it once he crosses the quarter. See how if I throw that but early, just a split second too early, it can cause some problems with this route. So what you want to do is we know from experience that that post route won't stop running until it gets to a certain place on the field, and that place is um, the hash mark. So what you want to do is you just want to wait for it to cross the face of the inside quarter. So you see something like this, just kind of wait on it, throw it to the left there, and as you can see, it's able to get over the top of that this is going to be a little cleaner of a throw against cover three and a little bit more difficult of a throw in my opinion against cover four and, and a lot of it has to do with this hitch this hitch um again if you wanted to put him on a slant you could if you you know you know what i mean but i like the hitch i think it's the safest concept you see how i can play maker it but against cover three you see how clean this is really good against cover three and then i'll show you the double mabel uh i'll show you a double mabel cover two real quick and like i said the best defense for this in my opinion is a traditional inside quarter cover four drop approach the problem with the cover four drop is as long as you can time it right and really kind of take note of where you want to time this throw it's going to be even better also you can throw this in the middle of the field and you're that's the other thing that i want to point out you're still getting this really good aggressive catch um you're you're still going to get this really really good aggressive catch on this play so you're not losing that that piece of it you can still throw the ball earlier on in the play it's just the route itself in my opinion really really um, does well once it crosses the safety's face because then they can't make a play on the ball so again you're just waiting on it waiting on it here pass lead left that time i threw it a little you see what i'm saying that time i threw it a little bit late and you see the repercussions of that of that decision so you know this is one of my favorite two play mini schemes right now and the reason i like it so much is because it just simplifies everything and you don't have to put the running back on a wheel by the way so like if you're running x spot and you want to block your running back be my guest you don't have to put him on a wheel i like to it just helps a little bit with man to man on this play but again here you'll see here's cover two and you'll see i'm gonna throw it to the left right in that little tight pocket and there you see it so cover two with 30 yard clouds obviously you can hit it a little bit earlier and that's also why i really personally if i'm running x spot i would rather streak that guy because now you're going to bring this guy underneath and to me this is just a little bit cleaner of a concept and it's not as hairy of a throw specifically against cover four um you'll see here you just pass lead it underneath real simple or to the outside i'm sorry and very effective so this is a great little couple plays scheme uh, to be able to beat every zone in the game. It's one of my favorite little, I, it's kind of honestly the way I've shifted to playing offense on, on uh, with those two plays. And I've been having a lot of fun and I've been having a lot of success. That S post, I'm telling you, is one of the best routes that nobody uses. Because in, unlike the skinny post, it really crosses the face of the safeties. It doesn't go as deep as a skinny post. It's a little shallower. But again, it crosses the face of the safeties in a way that allows you to throw it against every single coverage in the game as long as you have a clear out route. I want to thank you for watching this video. And if you want to learn more about my trips offense or if you want to learn just how to get better at the game in general, I would really encourage you to join our Patreon. It's only $10 to sign up and it gets you access to everything, all of our eBooks, all of our updates. And if you want to sign up, there's a link in the description that you can click on that will allow you to do just that. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time.